Okay, this is a quick video, nothing fancy. Um, it's an idea I had a few days ago, and thinking about magnesium and uh, lighting fires, okay? And come up with this idea, and I actually checked it out in the garden, and it worked very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it very quickly, go out in the garden, and uh, do the test again to confirm it. And I think it's gonna work pretty cool. And uh, I thought, yeah, sod it, I'll bring you guys along, okay? So what we've got here, is a bicycle inner tube folded in half. Okay, now we just got an elastic band over the end to secure it. We take it off, and we've got our fire starter. Now, some people have seen this before, some haven't. This was kindly given to me by Hank, the comms prepper, um, all the way in America. Sometimes goes to Russia for visits and. Uh, Lovely guy, awesome channel. If you want to learn about comms, he's your man, okay? So, briefly, what we've got here is we've got a massive big lump of magnesium, as you can see. And we've got a ferro rod stuck onto the top of it, like this, okay? Now this wood, um, I forget what wood it is, um, so forgive me on that one, but the reason it's got a hole there and not at the back is because you can use shavings or carvings from this for your tinder. This is proper emergency stuff, okay? Obviously you're not gonna shave it all. You don't need to. There's a lot on there and it goes a long way. Um, the only thing I've done is I've replaced the striker that come with it. I just didn't think it was good enough. It wasn't sharp enough. It, it's okay. It does the job, but I wanted something to be easier to use. Um, the problem I was finding, the striker that come with it was only about this long. And to hold it in your hand and give it some purchase, because you are going vigorously shaving off this, it's hard work and you've got to do it for quite a while to get a decent pile, all right? And it's just hurt my hand after a while, especially if you're gonna be cold, tired, it's raining, and you're all struggling to get fire going. The last thing you want is to add more uncomfort to it, okay? So what I decided to do was um, an old trick I discovered a few years ago was to get a ruler, okay? Now, it doesn't matter. Um, the myth is um, you've, you can only use high carbon steel um, to strike a ferro rod to get a spark. Um, this bullshit, okay? This is a stainless steel ruler. In theory, it shouldn't work. It works very well because the edges are very, very sharp, 90 degrees, and they stay sharp, okay? They don't round off easy like high carbon steel would. This is um, tempered stainless steel, and it's very, very strong, okay? And it's gonna stay sharp for a long, long time. As you can see, there's a few burn marks. We've been trying it before. So all we do is you just shave off. I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to do it outside in a minute. But you just shave loads of this, make a big pile, and then turn around a ferro rod, bosh, instant fire. And it's very, very good. In fact, when this is burning, it burns at all thereabouts or around 3,000 degrees centigrade. In other words, blinking hot. So be very careful, okay? Really do consider um, the materials near it, especially under it or what it's on top of, because 3,000 degrees is very hot. It burn through a lot of things, okay? So be wary of the temperature of aluminium, etc. if you're gonna be using that. So, I probably won't be able to show it very well outside, but I can show you here. Where have you got the ruler? And you can scrape off the wood scrapings there and it just adds to it, okay? It just gives you a bit of um, prolonged flame when you come to do your uh, fire. Obviously that's a very small amount, it's just a demo, okay? So the idea being is you shave off as much as you can beyond that um, circle, the hole where the, um, the leather's gone through, and you can continue to shave it off to its bare bones if you really need to, okay? So there it is, it's a great idea. Now what I intend to do with this, it's not just to carry it, I just get a section of this with a knife, cut it, cut it again so it's opened into a square. You've got your square, okay? Then you put the magnesium pile on top of that and you light it. It's so hot it catches underneath, envelops this, and depending on the size of your pile of magnesium and the size of inner tube that you're using, you've got flames, good solid flames for at least five minutes. And five minutes is a very long time to get your fire established, okay? It's the same old rule, no, there's no shortcuts. 
you do need to prepare your fire materials before you even cut this, okay? So you get everything ready, and I mean everything, okay? That means all of the smaller stuff, like um, cocktail size sticks, right up to thumb size pieces and beyond for fuel, okay? Get it all ready, all the bark off, all graded, split if need be, if it's wet, cold or damp, all lined up, ready, in close vicinity, and then you strike. Once it's on fire, it catches the hose, the inner tube, sorry, and then you put your tinder on, and you've got guaranteed fire, is that good? Right, enough waffle, let's go outside and try it. Right, first of all, apologize for the noise outside because we are in a hood and it gets a bit busy. You just uh, have to put out fingers, that's how it is. Right, we've got the inner tube, we've got our blade. What are we gonna do? Cut a piece off, okay. Now all you do is you just open it up like this. Nice and simple, right? Nothing hard about that. It's been out for a while now, but this striker, if you get the angle right and you push down, you get some lovely shavings off of it. It doesn't take that long. It's a lot quicker than the, the block that I've tried before. These are great. So we've got a good pile there. Now be warned, this is very bright, very hot, burns very fast. Okay, so we need to uh, get it lit fold the corners over to catch it okay then you can put your fire on top it's a bit of an art form it takes a while but once you've uh, give it a go a few times You've got a, a good source or base for your fire then, okay? Now, obviously, don't do this in enclosed spaces. The fumes from the uh, rubber is going to be unbearable. And also, you do get a bit of radioactive fallout when, you're, when the magnesium goes up, okay? So as you can see from that, you can very easily get your fire going, okay? Even with damp wood. It's uh, it's pretty much a no-brainer, okay? So the idea of having something like this, obviously you can use a um, bicycle inner tube for all sorts of things. You can use for catapult slings, uh, tourniquets, uh, um, drinking water through pools, blowing um, oxygen into fires. From a There's all sorts of things, okay? You just think about it and uh, research online and you'll find it all. No, but for that size material, taken from our source, it just burns for ages. I mean, I could leave this recording, but as you can see, at the rate that's burning, I think you get the idea. So obviously, yeah, I said before, the important thing is, is to get all of your fire materials ready. Get everything prepped. And I do mean everything. If you think, oh, that's all I'm gonna need for what, I, what I'm gonna use it for, just do a little bit more, because it's nothing worse than when the fire's dying down and you want it to go for longer for some reason, 
you've got something there to burn. You're not going to be walking around trying to find something. You come back and the fire's that low, you've got to start all over again, pretty much, okay? So it's the same old rule, you know, you get out what you put in. If you put the effort in to prepare everything, you should be fine, okay? All it is from then on is practice. You just keep trying it now and again until we get really good at it, okay? That's all there is. So I hope that's helped. Um, some of you guys are asking me via the PMs about um, starting fires, um, what's best. I think, what was it? The common one was cotton balls and um, Vaseline. Uh, what was the other one? Um, light my fire, ferro rods, um, flint and steel. There's hundreds of ways, probably thousands of ways to light fires. Um, this one, you don't really see much off of. Uh, magnesium and bicycle inner tube. Spot on, mate. And, uh, yeah. And I think it's going to work in all weathers. Yeah, she's still going. So, um, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay funky.